Hi, I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter. I'm called the Big Game Hunter because I've been hunting down leaders and staff organizations for many, many years. It's over 40 now. And today I want to talk with you about how recruiters find people for their jobs. Now, again, this isn't about you finding them, it's about them finding you. Because the bias that exists in recruiting is if they find you, if you they, if they perceive you as a passive job hunter, not one actively engaged in the job, job search, you're a superior candidate. Why that is is goofy, and I'm not going to go into it now. I've done that in a different video. I'll just simply say this is the bias that third-party and corporate recruiters both have. If they find you, you're superior to the active job hunter. So... How, how do they find people? Now, statistically, job boards fill about 24, maybe 25% of all jobs. Employee referrals are filling about 27, 28%. So networking to find someone, using a network is important uh, because that's going to be the primary introduction point. And when recruiters are looking for someone, those job boards are incredibly expensive. So think about it for a second. If I said to you a job board license is $20,000 to search resumes, it doesn't sound like, and that's for one year, by the way, that doesn't sound like much. But let's say you're a large bank and you're trying to fill positions. It's 10 different categories of jobs. You have two different people in each function recruiting for staff. Start doing the math on this, folks. This isn't $20,000 anymore. That's $400,000 because they're not going to share a license. They have to have it individually because if one person's on, the other one isn't. That's not how it works. So recruiters are going to free sources in order to find people. Now, LinkedIn is becoming progressively more expensive. Uh, it's a lot cheaper than using job boards, and what they're doing is searching profiles. Uh, and yes, in theory, if they're hiring, if a, an, a recruiter or a company has hired someone with a large network, you know they can reach out to a lot of people. But it's only incomplete because they're limited to a certain number of emails a month. It's the paid services uh, that LinkedIn provides that gives them free range throughout the site. So what are firms doing? They're using Google. Okay, I'll, I'll be politically correct here. They're using Bing and other search engines uh, in order to find people. So what's the simplest way to get found? You make sure that you use the term resume as part of your search engine optimization. So if you're posting a resume uh, on a site, you could have it on your own site. You could put it on Tumblr. You could put it on um, uh, about me, which is a, a summary site, which has like name, address, information about you, how to contact you. It's some good information that they can get. It's not a full resume. There's a lot of different free sites uh, that you can work with in order to find, uh, to find the place to put your resume. And then you optimize it using the term resume of. You put your name in. You do resume of. You do job title. Uh, and I'm not talking about associate level three. They don't care about nonsense like that. They're looking for a functional title that describes your work. So you put the functional title that describes what you do. Think keywords throughout when you put it there. Uh, and that way, what you're able to do is to promote yourself. You get into LinkedIn groups uh, so that people can find you. Have you done a presentation somewhere? Um, and, and you have... Uh, PowerPoints of it. You put it on a site like SlideShare uh, so that people find it. Have you done a professional video before? Well, you put it on YouTube, you put it on Vimeo, you put it on a number of different video sites, and suddenly you'll find the phone ringing. Suddenly, you're going to find people reaching out to you with opportunities that they wouldn't have, you wouldn't have heard about previously. And I also want to remind you, you, you keep these things up all the time, not just when your job search is going on, but all the time because, as I said earlier, the person who gets ahead isn't always the smartest or work the hardest. People get ahead by being alert to opportunity. And if you're doing a great job at your next firm and there's a knock at the door 
and someone's offering you a better opportunity, you better listen because that could be the stepping stone to a huge, huge move. This is Jeff Altman, The Big Game Hunter. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, click the like button. Uh, uh, if you're watching it on YouTube, uh, and also come over to my website, jeffalpin.com. Sign up for a complimentary subscription to my easing, No BS Job Search Advice easing, which I publish on Tuesdays with advice for job hunters. That's good anywhere in the world. It's completely free. You can also read previous articles from the easing at the site, watch other videos on YouTube or at my website uh, that have job search advice. Um, there's a lot of good information that's available, including podcasts and my radio show, No BS Job Search Advice Radio, uh, broadcast Monday at 9 a.m. Eastern on Blog Talk Radio. You can also post your resume to more than 50 sites from mine. Search positions I'm recruiting for. You can also use easy to work with career builder links that are on the home page in the right hand column. You have access to Indeed on the links page and Job Search Universe on the bottom of the home page, both of which search thousands of other sites at once for job leads. So you don't have to find all these places, you just get the job leads easily. I'll also mention there's information about my books and guides to job hunting, as well as other people's books as well uh, that you can search through. Two last points. Number one, if you haven't already done so, send me a connection request on LinkedIn. The address is linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Uh, that's all one word. And I'll accept connection requests from anyone anywhere in the world, except if you're a third party recruiter or if you're in a country that's known for scams or spam. There I won't do it. Lastly, are you trying to hire someone? Is your firm trying to hire someone? Point me to the person who's in involved with the recruiting for the position. And let me help you look good for however long you remain with your firm. Contact me at the email address below. Tell me how to reach you or the person who's responsible for hiring. Let me put my systems to work for you or for them. This is Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. Hope you have a great day. Take care.